hello my dear youtubers today i will show you how to edit your youtube videos or any videos for youtube like a pro on your android device yes what you hear is right you can edit all your youtube videos if you have little patience on your android smartphone itself like a professional one do okay before starting let's see which apps does we need actually to do this if you are making rom reviews on smartphones or any pro or any game reviews or game plays on android like me then you can use the best screen recorder here which is do you do screen recorder do you or do screen review what are the way you pronounce it and the reason i found it best because it's it got what 1080p resolution of is of our since screen recording and then the quality and fps the auto mode decides the best one based on the performance of your smartphone and you can also hide the watermark which is laid by the app but as you see that i didn't enable that option here because i don't want to put you in a confusion mode whether this video has been edited in pc or done by screen recording on android so leaving that this is the best one to record your screen on android and next comes the video editor here as you see after recording or getting any video then you have to edit it before uploading to youtube so here is the best video editor which is from cyberlink that is power director video editor app you can get it free on play store but if you want to edit your videos and, and produce in high quality that is full hd resolution then you have to pay 200 indian rupees nearly for that one but anyway we have on the free version we still have good quality output here and you can see that the present output is good okay before starting that let's take a project here we have to select the resolution i do prefer 16 is to 9 because that will be great for making landscape videos like the present one okay all you do is this the ui is simple and understand by anyone i mean it's very simple and understandable and if you have used camtasia studio editor i mean on pc then you will get habited to you very easily because i had used camtasia before in the past on my pc and i found it very easy when i started using this the first time okay i will show you that okay let's import the video which would be a screen recording of course yes you see that i have a screen recording here so by clicking the plus icon you can import it and yes if you want to just edit i mean remove the noise from this i mean the if you want to mute the voice in this then you can click on it and yes it's selected and you see the pencil icon edit here and the volume here so you can entirely mute the audio in that video file you have imported or set the custom volume so i do prefer muting that because when you be go back there and click on audio you can either import your audio or you see the option here voice over which is the important future of this and the best future of this app you can't find this app i mean this feature in any app but i do find it's useful because you you can record your voice all over the video but i can't record it right now because you see that i have a screen recording going on here and as you know you might know or not i don't know any two inputs can't be used by app at the same time i mean you can't use two voice inputs while the still screen recording is running okay leave that you can give it a try to the voice recording okay after voice recording is done Yes, all, you, all you have to do is to go on with the voice recording there but you see it might it seems like that it's running but actually it doesn't do anything because the screen recording is running in the background so you can let's stop it 
and let's see it's played or not as you see that no voice C has been here because it just it although it seems recorded no audio is here because the mic is already using so whatever you got i mean if you got some bad voice or if you got noise in your audio then to make your video professional the voice i mean the noise levels in your audio should be removed right so for that we have audacity app in for pc but whereas we are talking about android here so let's further let's use lexis audio editor you see that i have i already have recorded a some audio file which have noise and let's hear it once as you see some noise is present in the audio file you are listening to and let's listen it again after doing the noise reduction profile so you see that noise is present in this one and you can clearly hear that so let's remove this one all you have to do is to go to options here go to effects and you see noise reduction option here click on it and usually low low pass filter option will be enabled just disable it and you can set your threshold rate attack release rate i do use the default stock settings and click on apply it will take some time and your audio file will be processed as app as you see that the graph has been minimized so that means the noise levels are been decreased so let's listen it to it let's listen to the audio file again as you see some noise is present in the audio file you are listening to and let's listen it again after doing the noise red you can simply feel the change in the audio file right so i will play the past one which is the non edited one as you see some noise is pre simply feel the difference of that so then and then you have to save it although this app is free this doesn't support mp3 one because for that you have to pay for that so i'm not going to make it paid so let's use any dot wav format or something so i am renaming this file as final output you see some lag in here because the screen recording is going on dot wave and the file is save so let's go back to the video editing now so delete the audio here which we have recorded earlier now click on audio and let's just import the file which we have there i mean i am not able to find the audio because it's not refreshed media scan has to be run so let's get back although you get back out of the project it can be saved and can be edited later so click on edit and let's see if it is accessible now click on audio so just open it again click on edit project yes it's here music you see the final output here click on plus it will be added i'm just doing it as a demo because the video and the audio doesn't have as you see some noise is present in the audio so file you can do this like this if you are making a screen recording like mine then i have to use some video to audio editor software because 
द प्रेजेंट ऑडियो विच यू आर लिजनिंग टू इज जस्ट मिक्सड विद द स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग सो आई हैव टू मेक दैट स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग इन टू एम पी थ्री फाइव एंड देन गेट बैक इन टू लेक्सिस ऑडियो एडिटर ऐप एंड देन रिड्यूस द नॉइस एंड देन इम्पोर्ट हेयर ओके एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन प्रोड्यूस वीडियो Save to gallery and this is the re is as I already said you need to purchase it if you want full HD but HD resolution which will be seven twenty p will be good for you so you can click on produce get back and it will be exported shortly I'm not going to show you because it will be a long video right. and it will be meaningless so next comes the thumbnails which is the main part of youtube because you know that these thumbnails attract the subscribers and the viewers so you should be very very good with them okay and for that i am using pixel lab app which is free and you have to go to options and set the image size first so uh, yes the con image size and you see youtube channel banner youtube thumbnail yes since we are editing a thumbnail here let's select youtube thumbnail click on okay and let's set some images to make it better click on from gallery i have already downloaded some images to make thumbnail so let's just import them so let's import this android one first as you see i have downloaded a png image in which the background will be automatically erased so resize it click on edit youtube editing on android you can change the text this text says color and let's change the font i think it's good um let's I'm not good at selecting colors so you can get what you want
and using 3d text option you can give it some 3d effect also and you can get rid of that empty and user spaces by clicking on erase color option and this will remove the it's just like the marquee selection tool in like in photoshop if the color is spreaded over a majority of area then it will remove the color
and you see that our thumbnail had been made successfully i think it's good because i'm not good not an expert in this and let's you can save as a project and edit it later just like a psd in photoshop or you can just simply save the image and i'm using high settings and save to gallery it will take some time but the output will be good and you see that the image has been saved successfully and that's it guys now you can upload your edited video and attach this thumbnail using creator studio app and this is a new option which we got a few days back i mean just attaching the thumbnail to the uploaded video and thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos and please hit the like button if you like this video and if you don't like it then i don't want to say nor there's nothing there's no need to say that you have to dislike